Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we are going to solve x, y for positive integer value. Equation is x minus 4 times x minus 10 equal to 2 power y. Is this equation exponential? Yes, because our right hand side is exponential function. Left hand side we have got quadratic function. Right hand side we have exponential function. Overall, we can say this equation is exponential. Diophantine also, once we are calculating or finding integer value solution. Okay, so let's get started. As we can see, our right hand side is 2 power y, which is exponential. So we can think about our left hand side should match to right hand side. So I am considering x minus 4 as 2 power a and x minus 10 as 2 power b. So that 2 power a times, I can write 2 power a times 2 power b that is equal to 2 power y. Few conclusions from here we can conclude. Conclusion number 1. All brackets would be positive means 2 power a should be greater than 2 power b should be greater than 0. Why I have written 2 power a is greater than 2 power b? As you can see x minus 4 x minus 10. So 2 power a is obviously bigger number because x is positive. Second point a plus b equal to y. By the exponent property we can write a plus b equal to y. Third point is from here we can write a must be greater than from first one you can write a must be greater than b because 2 power a is bigger than 2 power b so a must be greater than b because base is same. Let's get frame the equation. Okay, so 2 power a times 2 power b equal to 2 power y. I will write equation number 1 as 2 power a equal to x minus 4. Then I will write equation number 2 will be 2 power b equal to x minus 10. Now, if I will add both the equations, then I will get 2 power a plus 2 power b equal to 2x minus 14 and once I will subtract both the equation then I will get 2 power a minus 2 power b equal to x will get over 6. Up to this point what we have done we have justified our equation in the variable terms a and b. Now we will target a and b only. So from first equation there are a, b and x variables. If you observe the equation second means I am talking about 2 power a minus 2 power b equal to 6. Then we can find out our solution from here. Okay. How? If you will observe 6 then it is having factors 2 and 3. So I will write 6 as 2 times 3. Okay. Because I have got one factor as 2. So I am targeting 2 from the left hand side also. So I will write in bracket 2 power a minus 1 minus 2 power b minus 1 equal to 2 times 3. So this 2 will get over. Now I have to solve this equation. 2 power a minus 1 minus 2 power b minus 1 equal to 3. So I will frame one difference of squares picture. So let me write 2 raised to the power a minus 1 over 2 whole square minus 2 raised to the power b minus 1 over 2 whole square equal to 3. Now I will consider first bracket as P and this I will consider Q. 
ओके सो लेट मी राइट हेयर पी स्क्वायर माइनस क्यू स्क्वायर इक्वल टू थ्री सो आई विल राइट पी प्लस क्यू बाय द डिफरेंस ऑफ स्क्वायर फॉर्मूला पी माइनस क्यू इक्वल टू थ्री मीन्स थ्री टाइम्स वन वी कैन राइट लेट मी राइट हेयर थ्री नाउ आई विल राइट प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ थ्री सो वन एंड थ्री इज पॉसिबल थ्री एंड वन इज पॉसिबल बट एज यू हैव कंक्लूडेड ऑलरेडी ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी सो पी प्लस क्यू मस्ट बी ग्रेटर देन पी माइनस क्यू सो आई विल राइट पी प्लस क्यू एज थ्री पी माइनस क्यू एज वन सो लेट मी राइट पी प्लस क्यू इक्वल टू थ्री p माइनस क्यू इक्वल टू वन एड बोथ द इक्वेशन देन टू पी इक्वल टू फोर पी विल कम आउट टू सब बोथ द इक्वेशन देन टू क्यू इक्वल टू टू क्यू विल कम आउट वन सो अप टू दिस पॉइंट वॉट वी हैव कंक्लूडेड दैट इज p वैल्यू so this value is 2 and q value is 1 let's find out a and b first so i will write 2 raised to the power a minus 1 over 2 equal to 2 that means a minus 1 over 2 equal to 1 its power is 1 so a minus 1 will will be equal to 2 a will be equal to 3 So from here we got a equal to three. Now second equation. This was first. Now let's consider second, which is in b variable. So two power b minus one over two equal to q, which is one. So I will write this one as two power zero. So from here b minus one over two will be zero. so b is equal to 1 so our 70% task is done a equal to 3 b equal to 1 now see what we have resolved so far a is 3 b is 1 so let me change this if it is 3 and 1 then y is 4 confirm y is 4 okay now what i am going to put i am going to find out x value now how it is possible a is 3 b is 1 what is a from equation 1 we will find out x so let's find out 2 power a equal to x minus 4 2 power b was x minus 10 now what we have calculated that is a equal to 3 and b equal to 1 so y equal to 3 plus 1 a plus b that is 4 this is what we know now let's put here let me write 2 power a 2 power 3 i will write it from here x is 4 plus 8 so 12 okay now 2 power b x minus 10 is 2 power b so 2 power 1 so 2 from here also we are getting 12 all right now you can see x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 4 is our solution see this approach is very very effective in such questions now let's verify so verification let's verify x is equal to 12 first let me write the equation x minus 4 times x minus 10 equal to 2 power y 12 minus 4 times 12 minus 10 this is our lhs so that value is 8 times 2 so 16 let's find out rhs 
which is 2 power y so 2 power 4 that is 16 so both values are matching that means our result x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 4 is absolutely correct answer one point is there if you will swap the values suppose i have considered x minus 4 2 power a and x minus 10 considered 2 power b we presume that a is greater than b if you won't or you will skip this point then you will get the different values of x different means from both the equations you won't get x equal to same value that means one value you are getting negative so but our right hand side is always positive so no bracket neither x minus 4 nor x minus 10 would be negative this is confirmed okay so both brackets must be positive you cannot accept value so your answer is x is equal to 12 y equal to 4 so let me stop here in next video we will meet with one more concept don't forget to subscribe like share thank you so much for watching